How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption. Today we're going to go over the holiday event. I have just opened my phone. It's just after reset. So let's get through the introduction and we'll go through all of the events that are on right now. I'll also jump on to my new account in 2563 so we can go out at a free to play perspective as well. So stick around. If you like these videos, please do hit the like and subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so what do we got? First thing I see when we get in here is there's a new season of Lucerne Scrolls. That is awesome. I love this event. I'm definitely going to unlock it on this account for, uh, it's five bucks for most people, but $6.99 for myself on this account and as well as my account for KVK season two in 2396. Let's see. Navels, or Navars, sorry, Navels. Navars Control. That's an awesome handpiece for cavalry. That is really nice. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are excited about that. I've already unlocked it. I, I think I actually recorded when I unlocked it, um, getting it through crystal keys, which was awesome. So I already have it. Still definitely going to unlock it. All the goodies that you get in here from the second column for paying is just totally worth it. Like look at the legendary sculptures alone. Definitely for five bucks. Easy to do. Let's take a look. Okay. This is pretty standard five days long obviously you want to complete all of these if you've already done all of your tech you get to instantly take all these which is nice this should not be hard to do for anybody you've got a farm easy you log in easy academy of research might be hard if you're in the middle of like a hundred day long research like my count is in 25 six or sorry in 2396 it still has like 60 days left on um one of the researches so i won't be able to do that now this this is going to be nice what do we got in here so we've got yeah that's everybody should have seen that by now but does it have okay it has legendary commander sculptures if you do have the gems i do suggest doing this it is awesome for 30 extra legendary sculptures this this is what you want to grab everybody should be grabbing this for silent trial or delaney's amulet for specializing them if you don't already have them then you can craft it if you already have them but they're not specialized highly suggest it i am definitely going to get that I, the material you're not really getting great value for it just buy it from the vip shop what else we got so this is pretty basic obviously this is going to fall into no that's not that one okay so we're going to be collecting them and then donating them here so you'll want to collect resources and there's some tricks to that that i'll go over in a second on my free to play account um, you're going to want to collect in your city which is really easy to use you'll want to use the resource uh, uh, boosts which are i already have them active on this account but i will use them again soon right here 24 hour boosts for all the for the food for the wood the stone and the gold you want to do that as often as possible and collect from your city as often as possible. So logging in all the time. I log in very frequently for gem farming. All my farms are back right now, but I also have one march out with Tao Tao and YSG. Awesome for this exact event. But let's see, I can't collect yet, but I'm sure I will before I move over to. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just go back into here. Oh, I've got another one of those, even though right now I have pretty much finished this i'm just collecting these and getting the extra in rewards every time i get a level i get some more relics which is nice to have i'm sure i'll be able to use them eventually but let's see does the first one bring it okay so i already got six copper tokens which is exactly what we can use and where was it lantern city so you can donate these so it's not the best event where you pay 7,000 gems to open up a column and then you can buy another column, but at least there are rewards for being highest in your alliance and you get 10 rewards each time. This is great, especially for free to play or new players at the beginning of the game. This is fantastic. Um, if you are going to get the legendary sculptures and like I suggest this choice chest for accessory, you're going to have to hit this button and you're going to have to donate that way. 
My suggestion is to do it before you max level 10 gift because you're still gonna get crit chances, which applies in here. So the faster you do that, if you make up your mind quickly and you know you're gonna go for those 30 legendary sculptures, you'll wanna do that sooner than later so you don't miss out because as soon as it's level 10, you can't crit anymore. So just my suggestion on that one. Uh, let's just see if I can collect, I can collect again. And as you can see, I got two copper tokens from a quick collect that I did just moments ago. So it's definitely something you want to stay on top of. I'm not going to send out my farmers here. I'm going to jump right over to now for this. It's going to be tough to do on all three of my accounts, but it shouldn't be impossible because I'm going to do the resources. I'm going to do barbarians. Um, I'm going to be in Lost Kingdom in 2396 before this event finishes, so I'll be able to do lots of barbs. But let's just see here. Okay, we can start an upgrade. I'm just doing basic upgrades right now while I save up some resources because this is going to cost me a good penny. I haven't even done my wall yet. That's going to cost some too, but I'm close to, being ha to having enough for my wall. Um, but let's just take a look at the event here, see if it's any different. Um, Academy for this one is going to be a little bit harder, but I am working it, so it should be impossible. Uh, let's see, this is going to go to 10 again, so hopefully everyone contributes. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to, um, I probably won't even be able to get this, because that's a lot of gems for that, and I'm not, I'm saving up my gems for either the next VIP, or when the next holiday event comes around, 7,000 for unlocking the column. Uh, let's see here. I think it's pretty much exactly the same. We still have another day of this. I have been doing the 325 as well. That much gold for 325 gems to me is worth it, even though it's a free to play account. Um, I have been very lucky with the alliance that I'm in. We captured a bunch of altars. We've done a bunch of sanct sanctuary or sanctums. Um, and we're going to get some level one and two passes as well. So I am doing good at gems. I, of course, always buy all of this out, except for the 24-hour boost. I don't think that's worth it. But I'll just grab these, and then I'm going to show you the trick I can use for gathering. So when you're sending out gatherers during one of these events, you want to collect, and I'm actually going to bring this one back, and I will resend another one to it. You want to send smaller marches. You want to pretend these are level one or level two resource tiles because when they come back, and I'll just show you because this one with the gold is likely going to give me one and the other one's almost done as well. But when they come back, even though they're not finished the tile, as long as it's over a certain threshold, you will get those coins for the event and it will make your progression go faster. So I'm going to send out... Let's say that's going to bring back 151. No problem. That's more than a level one. It's a little less than a level two, but it's close enough. I will obviously do a lot of barbs on this account, as well as those guardians that are sitting there and always with the verification. But unfortunately, this event isn't as good as the 7,000 gem buy-in event, but you're still going to get for this early in the game to get those speed ups, to get those resources really going to help i don't think i'll rank very high because i'm not going to spend any gems what will i buy in here it would be awesome to get a city skin i don't think i'm going to be able to get a city skin you don't get enough free festive cakes to do that so i will probably go for whatever i can afford this is nice i know for a lot of people maybe it's not the best but for this early in the game to get that much stone right now would be very nice. Uh, protect the supplies is going to be very difficult this early in the game. Not having very many troops. I will do what I can at this. Like see even power recommendation is 100,000. So once you bump those up, as you can see, the recommended power, even just for the first stage, I'm only just over 2 million power, so I'm almost maxed out as it is. So I'll obviously do this. It comes with some good rewards. It's pretty easy to explain. I don't have my troops back yet 
but if I just go confirm, it's only going to cost 50 action points. But when you confirm it, a uh, caravan will spawn. It'll start walking towards a final destination and you have to follow along with it, defeating the bad guys as they try and hit the caravan. Very easy um, to get the hang of. You won't have enough troops to do very well at it. But, you know, obviously the faster troops, the better. If you use cavalry, you're going to do a lot better with speed. But again, this early in the game, there's not a whole lot you can do to make it better for you. It's just a, a tough... Oh, that's perfect. That's a perfect one. That'll give me some back. I didn't get anything for the gold, but it's kind of a hit or miss. It's like a one in three chance when you send a resource, um, a gathering march out. When it comes back, it's like a one in three chance to get it. You can get one, you can get two, or you can get three coins back. So that really helps. Um, that's pretty much it for this event. It's not the best one in the world, but you're getting a whole bunch of uh, free stuff. Now, the lucky packets send. So we're going to be able to send gifts to each other. Let's see this. This is during this event, send red packets to other governors via kingdom or alliance chat. Each packet. Oh, okay. I remember this one. So we're probably going to get it in here or where are we going to get these from? I wonder where we get those from. Oh, you know what? It's most likely and right here so you have to buy it so the people spending money in your alliance are going to purchase these bundles because they are decent you're getting you know a bunch of gems worth of items right there on the festive cake these bundles are great i suggest them if you're pushing this event and if you're going to buy the 30 legendary sculptures and the legendary accessory or the epic accessory choice chest definitely suggest you get these bundles but you have to be very fast at watching view. So obviously everybody's already grabbed it. So what happens is, is that it gets posted into your Alliance chat or it'll get posted into kingdom chat and you have to be fast. So really the people who are online, who are active are going to benefit from this. Um, sometimes you could be online and click it as fast as you can and you don't get it. It is what it is, you know, it's just part of the event. Nice little rewards. Uh, what did it say in there that people got? It shows you what they get. So 50 gems, uh, 50 minute speed up, the resources, and another speed up. Sometimes you can get, you know, 100 gems, 500 gems I've seen in there. Obviously luck depends greatly on this event, but it is something to keep an eye on. If you're super active, you're definitely going to walk away laughing. Um, especially if you're not buying the bundles, but you're still getting all these extra goodies. It's not bad. It's a great holiday event. It's going to help with everybody's growth. Oh, I got it. All right. Five gems. <laughs> the worst, the worst one you can get. Let's see who else. Yeah. So there you go. He got 500. Definitely the winner. The person with the best reward gets the crown. One person got a 60 minute. That's awesome. That really helps. Congrats to the Zyroll for getting that. That's awesome. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye on those presents. You want to keep it open. You want to be ready if you're going to stick around. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this event, guys. There's not too many tips and tricks. Obviously, you want to use all your action points. If you're in a kingdom that has Lohar right now, I imagine new kingdoms are also getting this event as well as, as, well as Lohar. Or if you got strategic reserve going on, definitely want to spend those action points. Right now, though, I will spend them. Uh, best to wait until day two. I'm pretty sure it's a day two. If we go back into the event, I'm not going to be able to see it. But day two, I believe you have barbarian invasion as one of the quests, and you have to defeat 400 barbarians. So if you save your action points before you burn any, save them until after day two. You don't want to burn everything in day one. And then again, just resources. Always collect from your city as often as possible because I'm a new uh, city and because it's very early game it's likely that I'm not going to be able to exploit that but if we jump back onto my main quickly I will show you how fast they build up I'm going to get a bunch just from collecting resources in my city that's just the way it is I have all of them to level 25 everything's been maxed out I will send this barb march out again hopefully I get that level 20 at the same time that would be nice and as soon as those pop up, I will show you. 
Oh, here we go. So as you can see, I got like three new males there, four new males. Oh, I think that last one was from barbarians, but still three just from collecting. So you just have to be active. That's it. If you're active, you can get those tickets, you can donate them and you can buy some stuff from the shop. The crits again, run out after level 10. So just make sure if you are going to spend gems, do it early. And obviously nobody else has even started yet, but that's it guys. That's it for this event. Um, not a whole lot you can do. Just be active. Really? That's it. Be active. Make sure you can come, you complete all of, uh, the challenges on this because afterwards, especially for new kingdom, especially for me on my free to play account in 2563, going to finish this a hundred out of a hundred, maybe a little bit less, depending on if I have to upgrade, you know, too much power on buildings. I don't want to waste speed ups. But at least 90 to 100 is what you want to shoot for. Um, otherwise, it shouldn't be hard. And look at just all the goodies you get just for logging in. Like, it's fantastic. So just be active. Be active and you won't have any issues. Did I get? Oh, I get all these rewards. I love these events for buildings and research. I already have research done. So you just get them. That's awesome. But there you go, guys. That's it. Nothing too crazy. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, throat is... Still bad, but uh, pushing along through it. I will have another video again tomorrow. Uh, I believe right now we're actually starting Marauder Forts in 2396. So I'm going to log in there, send out Barb Forts on my second device because I got the beta version still for PC, which works and it's fantastic. But until next time, guys, have a good one and see you later.